Hi guys, welcome back to Fashion and Fun. In today's video, we will be doing a fun activity from Sophia's workbook. Let me turn the phone to show you guys. Okay, so Sophia has been working on this Highlights Summer Big Fun Workbook and it's uh, bridging from preschool to kindergarten. And at the end of each chapter, it has a bonus activity that she is not required to do, but we're choosing to do. And this is fun activity number two, or bonus activity number two. Will the will a clay bowl float? So you guys will need a bowl, water, uh, modeling clay. So Miguel moved my clays, but um, here we have clay. Uh, exactly. and Maybe. pennies we have a few pennies that right here and I grabbed a few extra items that uh, we could use we have these little pins nails and paper clips okay it says with an adult's permission roll a piece of modeling clay into a ball ball Gently drop it into the bowl of water. What happens? So we'll open up the clay. Okay, so I'll, I'll just move right here so that you guys can see them. And okay, kids, before throwing your ball in there, and I, Miguel said, why do you keep saying um, clay? Clay is the same thing as Play-Doh. Um, this is just a brand, but... Um, right here it does mention modeling clay and I asked my Alexa because I wasn't sure and she said that modeling clay and play-doh is the same thing okay so kids what do you guys think it will happen if you throw it in there you think it'll go down or you think it will flow I think it'll go down because it's not fun to down shit. okay ready go Yep, my laptop high okay. is right. Now, use a piece of clay to make a boat with a large bottom and short sides. So, get it out. That's a good idea. So, Sophia, get it out and start making kind of like a bowl shape. It's kind of slimy. I did these two. Uh, I was telling the kids just to roll a perfect ball, put it on your palm, and press I'm your finger it. in. Okay, Sophia did it. Miguel, are you ready? Yeah. Gently set the clay bowl onto the water. Not yet. And oh. what happens? It sinked? It sinked. It's supposed to float. <gasps> oh. So you thought it would float? Yeah, it was supposed to. Let's see this one. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna make one. I tried doing mine different. Let's see how this works. <gasps> oh, I think I, it's because hers is like wider and bigger. Yeah, I think so. So Let's... mine float. So try to do it um, wider and the wall slightly. Whoa, that clay. <laughs> It's getting color. Uh, I don't think I want to stick my hand in there. I know. I did a bigger one to see if it works. Um, but I'm not sure if I already did it too thin. There we go. Whoa. That yeah, so deep. make it kind of deep with a little wall up. Here's a closer look. You guys can see that it is floating. But what happens if it gets water inside? Oh, it could withstand. Look. Oh, wait, but you have to do a hole. Oh, wait. It's wait. Look, it will. Don't push it, Sophia. Don't. No, mama. Yeah, she already sunk it in. But I, I wanted to show you guys um, how slowly it would start going down. The last thing it mentions right here. It says, experiment to see how much weight. Oh, but you guys put my it's boat in there. Let me do a different one. I need to dry it and do a different one. Well, my clay is already wet, so I'm not sure if it 
work, but ugh. No, it doesn't. I think it needs to be dry. Yeah. But yeah, it's all wet now. So I don't think we we can proceed to the other one. But if it was still dry, I, I think it would start sinking once you started adding more pennies to it. Do you guys think that would happen? Yeah. That, yeah. Like if you had a lot of pennies. Like okay, so that is all for this video. We hope that you guys had fun um, looking at the kids do a short and fun activity. Thanks. We will be back tomorrow with more. Thanks for watching. Bye.